Hello everybody, I'm Evil Rabbit. Today we're going to be talking about the Mazda R9 and my RS steering wheel, as well as getting a little bit into the CS steering wheel. Uh, giving you guys a little bit of a review over the past almost two months of using this R9 wheelbase and all of that here on a set of Corsa and other games like that. So I'm going to give you guys a little bit of overview of things I've noticed, things I've liked, things I've disliked, and stuff like that here over the past month and a half almost two months so make sure you guys follow me on all social media i found description box below let's get to it so for sake of use we're just gonna be out here driving here in a set of course on a public online session at lime rock so overall my impressions of the r9 is it is substantially better and so much nicer than my previous wheels that i've used i've used of course my logic g920 that's where my channel really started and then i went to the club sport 2.5 the belt drive the direct drive of the r9 is was substantially immediately better immediately different and noticeably different when i first got into using it uh, the precision that I found was so nice, the adjustability and things like that were so nice to be able to do things like that, like go up to 1080 degrees and fine tune the rotations and also not have to worry about hitting, you know, physical bump stops and things like that. The overall just Im improvement in the force feedback feeling was also something that was incredibly nice for me to see and feel just being able to increased my force feedback so much that I was able to feel almost everything going on in the car. All the little bumps, all the little cracks, and being able to get the wheel to rotate way faster than my other wheel. I lose it. Way faster than my other wheel. It's also a solid plus. So overall, the base, the R9 itself, is definitely a huge step up and a great direct drive wheel system. It's a great entry into direct drive if you guys are looking to get into direct drive. I absolutely love mine, and I know a lot of people have purchased them after Mazda released them, and they are also in love with them as well. Kind of creeping up on this train. So. The RS steering wheel, the wheel that I originally got with my Mazda R9 base, and the current one that I'm using is by far one of the coolest wheels that I've had in my arsenal of wheels. You guys know with the Fanatex, I had all kinds of different wheels when it came to the NRG wheels and changing and stuff like that, but the quick release was so much nicer with their Bluetooth technology and things like that that being able to take it off every time I wanted to get out of the rig was so much nicer, especially now with the new next level rig being so much closer and much more proper of a seating position. It's nice to take the wheel off so I'm not, you know, knocking my knee in the wheel. But the leather feel of the RS was one thing that for drifting for me was a little bit getting used to. The texture on the RS wheel was something that if you're sliding it around without gloves like I am right now, your hand can get numb after a little bit because of the texture sliding through your hands. Um, but for racing, this wheel was by far probably my favorite wheel thus far. All the dials and all the buttons and of course that you know RPM display was so nice to have when I was doing racing games and being able to just use my peripherals with that shift light and everything and all of course the dials and all the textile buttons and everything. So the overall the wheel was great hopping into racing games and it just was so much fun and drifting with the wheel also was incredible you know getting used to the original you know a little bit smaller of a wheel was something I had to get used to because I was so used to running 350 wheels but after finding the ability that you can take a 70 mil hub wheel gotta catch back up this train and bolt it onto say this hub or even the quick release itself the D1 style quick release and run it on the R9 without actually having, you know, the, the RS steering wheel or the new CS wheel was definitely a big win and I've utilized that a few times but I still definitely still love having these LED displays and all the buttons and everything like that. So overall, can't, you know, thank Mazda Racing enough for, you know, hooking me up with the R9 and the RS wheel because it definitely has changed ooh, ooh, my feel of these wheels so I'm gonna 
spawn back to pits. We're going to switch over to the CS wheel here. But for sake, before we get back driving, this compact design is so great with, you know, not having any pins or anything to break and just having the Bluetooth connectivity and things like that. It's super great. So for the little bit of time that I've had this CS wheel, it's quickly become probably one of my favorite wheels. The nice smooth leather feel and the full black feeling of the wheel with everything nice nice and sleek and design stuff like that is quickly like i said becoming one of my favorite wheels the overall feel of the wheels are very structurally sound and can't find any real big things wrong with the wheels um now with every great things comes one or two little hiccups that you find when you start using new wheel bases and things like that so I did find every so often that I would have to re basically recalibrate my wheel. I'd have to go into the pit house app, it would lose calibration, it wouldn't know where my end stops were and stuff like that. And it was something I was in contact with them to try to figure out if they knew what was really going on. Um, and couldn't really figure it out and I boiled it down to when I plug in my Xbox controller to do other games and stuff like that. If my wheelbase was still on, it would trigger some sort of thing in the pit house system that would lose its calibration so i have to spend the 30 seconds or whatever to recalibrate the wheel which is not totally detrimental and was not like that big of a deal to me um but it was one thing i did find um thus i haven't had any issues recently with it so i'm wondering if it got updated out or if it's just now that i turn my wheelbase off before i plug in any other like controllers that i'm gonna be using as a main um but overall like, the, the R9 base works perfectly with my fan attack parameters and things like that. I'm trying to get used to this uh, roof cam. Got a little bit of, a little bit of trouble. Kind of struggle busting it. But, um, the overall impressions of it in the past almost two months that I've been using it, the wheel is, I have not found any hiccups with it. I've never lost feedback. I've never had any real issues when I'm actually using it. Uh, though, like I said, the only issue I found was when it would lose its calibration every so often but other than that I can not tell you any issues really I've never had it overheat on me or anything like that you know and if I would find any overheating issues and things like that I would definitely let you guys know but I haven't found any loss of feedback I haven't found anything it works perfect with like my fan attack parameters that I have from a handbrake my shifter my pedals so it's great that you can use other sources like that along with it now we're getting in there so for like i said for drifting it's definitely improved my feel of the cars and been able to adjust some of my new cars to drive much better and much smoother with the direct drive wheel so i like i said before i can't thank mazda racing enough for giving me the opportunity to partner up with them with the release of the r9 and the cs wheel Getting a chance to try the CS wheel prior to release was definitely incredible, which, and you know, them coming out with budget-friendly equipment is making it way easier to get into the direct drive world at a more manageable budget-friendly price with, you know, in, you know, price fluctuation and everything going on right now. You know, budgets is on a lot of people's mind, and this R9 with, say, a CS wheel, or even the R9 with just a D1 spec adapter and a standard wheel if you have one, is a great way to get in to direct drive, and I can tell you, you will not be disappointed by any means with the R9 wheelbase. Um, I'm going to hopefully soon be comparing it to my buddy's uh, Fantech CSLDD and some other wheelbases and stuff like that because very curious how this dd goes against that one i know a couple people have done that already but i would like to personally you know test it out myself but i can tell you going from logitech to this uh club sport 2.5 to this i can tell you hands down i love this r9 way better than any of my other wheels i've driven with before so if you guys want to see more here on the channel make sure you guys follow me on all social media i'll follow the description box below if you guys are thinking about picking up your own Mazda racing equipment. The link is in the description box below with my referral code. You will have it down there. You can click on that link. It'll take you to Mazda's site and you can pick up your own Mazda racing equipment from there. Uh, I don't don't know if they have any of the fancy R2-D2 style uh, R9s left, but the black R9, definitely a very awesome, 
awesome wheelbase and it feels so good and I'm only using it at about 70% power and I'm going to be bumping it up here shortly and doing some other stuff on higher power so make sure you tap the subscribe button if you want to see that stuff here in the near future and as always I thank you guys for coming back and watching I'm Evil Rabbit I'll see you guys on the track.